I guess I'm here to talk about my experiences. I'd say this started for me back uh, in my early teens when my stepbrother and I I believe we were in Cape Cod during a meteor shower and as we watched these meteors I remember just wondering like wait that meteor just stopped, turned the other way, came back and went this way. Wait a second. What's happening here? And I'd say this was uh, 12, uh, 13, maybe 13 years old. And that was my first idea of like, wow. You know, it was almost something to spark an image, but to not really think about it. An image that stays with me now. But at the time, you just go, wow, there was things moving out there. Because I, I think I've always believed. And the next, uh, I would say the next uh, experience that I can remember was uh, probably at 18. I remember being at a friend's house. And I remember he had a quad. Taking the quad and going into the woods. And within the woods, and this was kind of near my house, so I knew the, the area a little bit. But I knew there was a row. There's just a, a huge path of power lines somewhere in between his house and my house. And I got to them on the quad. And what's crazy is, I know I was living this moment, but I have seen it so clearly in dreams that I've convinced myself it was just a dream. But I was there. And I felt a strange presence at the time when I was riding to the point where I was like, I feel weird out here. I should leave. And I left. I headed back the same direction. And it was that moment when I was heading towards my friend's house. My other friend, my, my, my few other friends approached me and say, where, where have you been? We were sending out the search party. We were all going to come out and look for you. And here I'm thinking to myself, okay, I know I was a little, like, I pushed the limit. I went a little longer than I should have, but... my head I feel like what I was only gone for 30 minutes 45 minutes it made it seem like it was a little longer and listen I'm not saying it's missing time I'm not saying I missed any sort of time I never thought about this this theory or this thought until recently did I miss time how long was I gone because I felt a presence on the top of a hill and that's what made me think I should leave either way who knows what happened this was this is this is probably this is sunset this is sunset hours I should establish that this is around sunset you know, I remember when they were saying, hey, where have you been? Where have you been? I definitely remember it was starting to get darker. And it had to have been around fall or spring. I'm going to say more fall. Because I remember the weather was still very nice, you know. Being in New York. And all this takes place um, in Croton. In New York. Croton on the Hudson where I grew up. And I guess the next part of the experience was more during the evening. And I had two friends, you know, one friend one side, one friend the other on a deck. And this deck overlooked the Hudson River. I remember looking up. There's an object the size of a football field above your head. 
hovering. It was right above the tree line. I just remember those lights all over the bottom. And I remember being in awe, such awe of this moment. I see it and I see it and I see it. And it's only till recently, I mean not recently, but I'd say the past six to eight years where this has come back to me. I um, brought it up again to those two friends and they remember their experience, yes. Um, but if one thing I do, there's actually two things I do not remember in the experience that they mentioned and brought to me. They said uh, what caught our attention looking from the deck at the Hudson River were these lights, these like orb-like lights dashing around the Hudson. And from then, the craft appeared over our head. They also mentioned that a beam of light was shining down on us. This I do not remember. So it's two against one. I don't remember this. I don't remember ever seeing a light. I've always known the existence of extraterrestrials. Since I was a kid, for some reason. And now look at this. Look where I'm at now. Some crazy guy trying to see five ETs from his balcony in Brooklyn. <laughs> they should just tie me up in the loony bin now. But seriously. I, I don't remember the exact experience I was listening to, but I was listening to someone's ET experience. And, and, and that's when it hit me one night when I was out on out probably in spring, early summer, a few years ago, I'd say 2016, 2017, I say to myself, higher self, if other people can see this, let me see it, show me, please, please. I almost had this like thing of, of in my head of, am I worthy for this? Am I? Right? And it was at that moment, I started seeing a small light in the night sky, forming, flashing, getting brighter and brighter, brighter and closer and closer. To the point where I felt like it got so low, that last flash it gave me, I could see the bottom of the craft. I could see like metal, like metallic looking object. And it was gone in that instant. And that's what led me to pursue it more. It led me to consciousness. It led me to hypnosis. To past lifetimes, to future lifetimes. <sighs> to, th to things I wouldn't even think I'd be saying six to eight years ago. just been a series of you know now when I think about it I don't even realize it it's been a few years of doing video and trying to interact you know it just started as doing video trying to see what I can capture 
having a photography background. And, you know, once I started capturing things, uh, things progressed from there. And now there's definitely a, a, a different feeling to it what truly is extraterrestrial contact and now I know some might hear that and there's a million answers to that and everyone's going to say that their answer is better than the other and that's what makes us all different I'm not saying I'm right or have any type of answer for anything I'm just explaining what I have been going through and what my awakening has been like, if that's what you want to call it. I love to say that uh, maybe I searched for this. I went for this. Maybe I searched and they responded. I asked and they responded. Or maybe it's more. This was already pre-contracted out. They know the time and the place. It's for you to answer the call, essentially. I mean, where does one person stand? We live in a time... devices and social media politics is taking over people's lives who are we they ask for you to look at yourself I mean think about it that E.T., that being in the sky, could actually be you. That could be you from the future. It's me, it's you. It's almost like it's us screaming at ourselves to wake up. And our actions now, within this time, will affect the future, the outcome of the future. 